pipes bursting mm -hmm. in their homes, businesses. Yeah. We had it here at the yeah, station. Yeah, we definitely. Our elevator was down. <laughs> and it seems like everything's everyone. starting to thaw out mm -hmm. because it's so warm. No, it feels it feels great outside right now. If you haven't been out there, you definitely should uh, maybe peek your head outside and enjoy it because we are already in the 60s. We're getting into the middle 60s by this afternoon. We have an area of low pressure to our north. That's bringing snow to Kansas or parts of Kansas and much of Nebraska. The same system that brought that snow to Denver. We have mostly cloudy skies here in Oklahoma City. There's a view from our Cowboy Hall of Fame cam. Everything looking good there. It's 63 degrees. Yeah, it's it's pretty warm. Southwest winds at 21 miles per hour. That wind is what's keeping us on the warm side. We do have a boundary moving through. So in northwest Oklahoma, temperatures are cooler. We're in the 40s, 50s there, but for much of the main body of the state, staying in the middle to upper 60s, we have 70s all across eastern Oklahoma, and we have the wind back behind that boundary as well, gusting upwards of 40 miles per hour. We had a 52 mile per hour gust in Alva, so really strong winds in northwest Oklahoma all through western Oklahoma. Because of that, combined with low relative humidity, we have dormant vegetation as well, fire threats all across western Oklahoma, northwest Oklahoma, um, so we're definitely keeping an eye on that. Trackers are geared up, ready to go if anything does spark up out there this afternoon. So it's going to be warm. It's mostly dry for the next nine days. We have the area of low pressure swinging through through the day today and tomorrow that drops our temperatures for Friday and Saturday. And by drops our temperatures, I mean we're just going to be in the middle and upper 50s. So really not getting a whole lot colder. And then we warm back up for New Year's Day. We're back into the 60s. Our next front is going to be stronger and it is going to be bringing more rain with it. And we could see the chance for severe weather with that. We stay a little bit cooler on the back end of that area of low pressure. So it is a powerful storm. We have strong winds from the south out ahead of it, bringing up the Gulf moisture. That's one of the ingredients that we have or we need when we have severe weather. So we'll be keeping a close eye on it. Timing and locations are still kind of getting firmed up as we get closer to Monday, but we'll continue to firm up that forecast here over the next few days. 65 degrees for this afternoon. It is going to be a warm one and it feels really good, especially after the very, very chilly temperatures we had last week. The boundary swings on through. It brings a chance for some rain, but it's mainly dry. We have had a few showers here in South Central Oklahoma. Most of that evaporated before reaching the ground, so not a whole lot of people saw any rain today. Your highest chance for rain is going to be down in McCurtain County, southeastern Oklahoma, Ida Bell with an 80% chance there. And then tomorrow morning is going to be much colder than we were this morning, 35 degrees our low temperature. We got teens and 20s through northwestern Oklahoma and the panhandle and winds are going to be from the north at that point. Tomorrow afternoon, it's a little bit cooler, but still warmer than average. 54 degrees a high in Oklahoma City and then a chance for some drizzle and fog throughout the day tomorrow. I think we could even see some freezing fog in north central Oklahoma. We'll be keeping a really close eye on it during the morning show tomorrow morning and then New Year's Eve looks warm yet again. We're getting into to the upper 50s and by the time we hit New Year's Day we are in the 60s so New Year's weekend looks really good you don't have anything impacting your holiday plans that you may have and actually midnight in between New or midnight on New Year's Day looks like we're gonna be in the 40s so you don't even need to bundle up all that much